Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a bit of an older makeup tag because I've been trying to find more tag because I love doing these kind of tags. This is called the I Heart Drugstore Makeup Tag. I was just searching makeup tags on YouTube and I came across this one. I found it originally on Ingrid Nielsen Nielsen's channel, and it's from 2012, so it's a bit old. And in her video, she said that the tag was created by Makeup by Ally and Makeup by Fran. So I'm gonna have all three of those channels listed down below. Hello. It's going to be eight questions in this tag all about drugstore makeup. So before we jump into the video, look at how cute my hoodie is. It's Slytherin. Target coming in clutch. But for real though. Before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of tags videos. And if you want to see any more videos and you aren't already, I hope you would consider subscribing and hitting that little bell icon so that you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. Okay, so I'm just going to go through the questions real quick. I also have all the questions listed down below along with my answers for each one and then if I have time I'll link everything but everything will at least be listed in the description box. So the first question is what is your favorite drugstore makeup brand? This is a bit tough because there isn't like one perfect brand out there that I love like all their products for but if I'm talking about like actual drugstore and not like online I really like Milani, personally. A lot of my staple affordable products come from their line. I think Milani is actually priced correctly for the drugstore because you see a lot of brands out there that are, get, the prices are getting a little crazy. Like it's the drugstore, not Sephora, like, come on. So I think their prices are great, their products are amazing, and I think you're getting like a lot of product in the Monica, can you speak? I think you get a lot of actual product for what you're paying for. That's what I'm trying to say. Whew. I did a full face of Milani video not too long ago, so I'll throw that up in the cards. If you do want to check that video out, it'll give you a good overview of my thoughts on a lot of their products. Whew. So, speaking of that, the next question is, what are your favorite face, cheek, and lip products? So this was a bit vague. I didn't know, like, by face, do you mean, like, bronzer? Do you mean contour? Do you mean this? Do you mean that? So I've just picked out a couple of different like little favorites here and there. Okay, so I have a face powder, I have some blushes and some highlighters. So that's kind of what I thought like face and cheek meant. One of my favorite face powders ever is from Rimmel. This is the Stay Matte Powder. This is in shade 004 Sandstorm. I also have the shade 001 Translucent, which is just a bit light for me. Sandstorm, for reference, is very close to my skin tone, and I'm currently in NC25 in like the MAC shade range. I know it's a really good reference for a lot of people. The only thing I don't like about this is the packaging. I actually got um, a good tip from someone on how they were able to depot it, so I'm going to try to depot this. Wish me luck. But I love this powder. Like, you get a lot of product. How many grams? You get 14 grams of product. This is always under, like, $8, depending on where you get it from. Walmart, Target, CVS. I like to go to CVS just because I always get more coupons there. I have my extra bucks there. And it's just, ah, I, I love this powder. Next, I'm going to talk about blushes from Milani. I think if there's one thing Milani does really well, it's blushes. The first one was like a cult favorite here on YouTube for the longest time, and this is their Baked Blush in Luminoso. It's a fairly close dupe that I've seen for NARS Orgasm, but it's less shiny. Like, it looks nice and glowy like in the pan, but when you actually put it on, it doesn't look glittery or anything. It just looks like a cute little flush. Blushes are something that you're never gonna, I mean, even if you're trying to pan a blush, it's gonna take you a long, long, long time. So there really isn't a reason to go for a high-end blush when you can get something amazing, a whole lot of product. This will probably last you at least a year of continuous use at the drugstore. And these are also, this is under $10 for this. Something great that Milani just came out with not too long ago was their blush palette. So I have the shade number two. This is the Rose Floral Fantasy blush palette. And uh, it's kind of hard to show you because it's so reflective, but these are just more orangey, like rosy toned blushes. You've got a deeper one that's a little bit satin. You've got a light one that's really matte right over here on the end. And then the middle one is also just a little bit satin. I love these blushes. If anything, I think they should come out with like these palettes with the baked blushes. I think that would be awesome. I mean, of course, you're never gonna like, the amount of time it would take me to go through a full palette is like years. But I think it would be really cute to see their baked blushes in a palette like this. 
But either way, their blush formula is incredible, long-lasting, I love it. Oh. If you haven't tried these, you need to. And then I have two highlighters that I really like, one from Essence and one from e.l.f. The Essence highlighter is their Pure Nude highlighter. I think they just came out with more shades. Huh. I could be lying. I don't know. I thought I saw more shades of this. But the shade is called Be My Highlight. This is shade number 10. And it's just a really, really, really subtle, natural highlight. Like, you'll turn, you'll see a bit of a glow. I'm not wearing it today. But you'll see a bit of a glow, but it won't look like you're wearing a highlighter. It'll just look like either you've got a dewy foundation on, either your skin is just glowing, or, you know, maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> Bad joke aside. <laughs> It's a beautiful highlight and it's huge. Like this is a huge amount of product and this is less than $5. You're not gonna be able to beat this. A great product from e.l.f. is one of their baked highlighters and this is in the, the shade Moonlight Pearls. Um, if you haven't heard already, their baked highlighters are great once you get past that first layer of product. You do have to scrape off that layer, which I did. I use tweezers. Don't use tweezers. You'll get too much off. Use a spoolie and just scrape off that top layer and then you'll be golden. This is really, really pigmented, like the opposite of the pure nude highlighter. You need to go in with a super light hand and even then you might have to either blend it out or just tap your sponge on top of it just to kind of settle it if you're not there for a blinding highlight. But if you want a blinding highlight from the drugstore, get it. There are a few shades. The only one that I personally really liked was this one. The next question is, what is your least favorite product? Mm. So overall, my least favorite product are the uh, liquid lipsticks that come from the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit line that aren't up to par of the rest of them. And I have a few examples. Some shades that just don't work at all. Unfortunately, the lines are very like hit or miss within this one lipstick line. My favorite drugstore lipstick like ever is from this line. We'll just jump to the next question. Favorite product, Rebel Rose, Wet n Wild. Love it. Oh, I love it so much. I'm about to go buy it again because I've had this one for quite a bit and it's getting a little bit old. It's uh, pigmented. It's beautiful. Perfect for fall. Love the formula. It lasts throughout the day. This is amazing. You know what's not amazing? The coral shade. The metallic shades that came from their Gothographic collection. They they changed their tune and turned these into lip toppers, which they weren't lip toppers when they first released them. Like, they changed that. A lot of brands like to do that to kind of cover themselves. If they come out with a lipstick and it gets bad reviews and everyone's like, oh, it, it's not pigmented. It doesn't cover my lips. It doesn't do anything. They go and they're like, oh, no, they're lip toppers. They're not lipsticks. Like, Come on. Anyway, the lip toppers weren't great to the point where I wouldn't even use them over another lip product because it would make that lip product look worse. Um, this coral shade, like their peachy shades in their line, oh, they're so streaky. They're oh, sad, sad. And I don't even know why I still have these. Like I still need to do my huge declutter. Why do I keep these around? I think I just kept them around because I was so angry. And I was like, why are they bad? There are so many good products in this line. Why are these ones so bad? So I think I liked having like all of them in here because it looked cute, but why am I holding on to lipsticks that suck? Stop that. The next question is, what is the best makeup bargain? And by bargain, I meant, or I interpreted this to mean, you're getting the most product for your money. You're getting your best value. And for me, that's in the Cody Air Spun Powder, because there is a crazy amount of product in here. You are getting 65 grams of powder. 65 grams of powder, 65 grams of powder, and this is like less than 10 bucks, depending on where you get it from. This could set you for loose powder for like a year. Seriously. I know some people can't get over the scent. If you've got sensitive skin, it's not going to work for you. But if you've been curious about this, definitely take a look at their shade range because they have a lot of, like, it's not, they don't go really dark, but they do have a lot of really random light shades. So you really have to look through, look at the pictures, try to find swatches. The shade that works best for me is Naturally Neutral. And this is like, I guess, right in the middle of their range. Definitely worth a try. Definitely a great bargain. Next question is, what is your favorite underdog product, which is something you love that often gets overlooked? Personally, for me, that's another product from Milani. I love 
they're baked bronzers. And I think these get overlooked because you really can't see them well on camera. Like for makeup to show up on camera, it has to be like almost really exaggerated to the point where like in real life it looks a bit too much, but on camera it looks fine. This is a bronzer that looks amazing and natural in real life. Like it doesn't look like I'm wearing a bronzer, it looks like I just have a bit of a glow of a tan or something. Whereas on camera, it doesn't, you can barely see this on camera. But I have the shade 9 in Dulce. I love this. So it's a baked formula. It's very, very pigmented. So if you swirl your brush in, you're going to have to tap the excess off and then just tap it in. But it just, oh, it blends out beautifully. And I don't think I've ever heard anyone talk about Milani bronzers. Ever. And I love this bronzer. But the thing is, like I said, it doesn't look great on camera, but it looks great in person. So I really think if you haven't already tried this out, give it a shot. They've got a couple of shades, definitely affordable, definitely worth it if you're looking for like a subtle everyday bronzer. Question number six is, what is a drugstore product that is overpriced? Now I could go and say like all of the Physicians Formulas products, but I've got one product in particular that I'm like, why do you cost that much? Your primer. And this is from Revlon. I like this primer a lot, but you couldn't, you couldn't like force me at gunpoint to pay full price for this. This is their Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. You get... You don't even get a full fluid ounce of product in here. This is 0.91 fluid ounces. This is like almost $20. Revlon. This should not be this much money. <laughs> it shouldn't. I mentioned that I like this in a couple of other videos, but I always say never for the love of God pay full price for this product. Get coupons. Do wait for a sale. Never pay full price because this it's a great product. I like this as a primer, but it's not an all over face primer. It's a pore primer. So you're really only using a little bit at a time. So really, if they wanted to, they could make this bottle a lot smaller and cut that price more than in half. Put it in a little tube. I don't know why A, they're giving you this much product and B, that, and then charging you that much for it. Like why? Like if you paid, I think just like 10 extra dollars, you could get like the, uh, the benefit, professional. Anyway, never pay full price for this. It's not worth full price, but it's a good pore primer from the drugstore. <laughs> but that goes in line to what I was saying before about how like these drugstore prices are creeping up and up and up. Like, no, we've got plenty of mid-range, plenty of high-end makeup. The majority of the reason why we're going for these drugstore makeup products is because they're affordable. You stop being affordable, that's the point. <sighs> Question number seven is show your favorite drugstore dupe. Okay, so I'm not great at thinking of dupes. Really not. I'll get all these ideas in my head. I'm like, oh, this looks just like this and this looks just like this. But then when I like swatch them together or look at them side by side, I'm like, oh, they're not the same. They're not that great. But one product that I really think could replace a higher end product is from Milani. Again, this is the Make It Last setting spray and I definitely use this in place of Fix Plus from MAC. You don't need to use MAC Fix Plus. You can use this to wet your eyeshadows. You can use this to meld all of your powders together on your face. You can use this as a setting spray. Though personally, I don't see a huge difference in the longevity of my makeup while using this. It does do amazing at just smushing everything together to look a lot more natural and less powdery, which is what I was using my Fix Plus for either. I wasn't using Fix Plus as a setting spray. I was using it to just kind of make, meld everything down. This is around $10 at the drugstore. The mister on this is so nice. Let me just... The mister on this bottle is nice. I love it. Like, I'm gonna keep the bottle and put, like, other stuff into it. This is not the same. Let me get the other one real quick. I don't know why they changed the mister for the dewy one. I've been trying out the dewy one. I don't like it as much, and the mister is a lot different. Like, watch this. It, like, it comes out, like, in a V, and it doesn't get your whole face, whereas this one, like, it's got a, a wider, like, surface area. Mm. And I just got setting spray all over my laptop. 
Anyway, I'm not a huge fan of this one. I've been testing it out. I don't like it as much, but the Make It Last one is amazing. Definitely worth a shot. And if you don't want to spend the money on the Fix Plus, go for this. Okay, and the last question is, what is a drugstore product that isn't worth the hype? So my answer for this is actually a foundation line from L'Oreal. So they came out with the um, Pro Matte and the Pro Glow foundations. And I remember at everyone and their mother at some point was raving about the Matte or the Pro Glow. The Pro Matte, the Pro Glow. I tried both of them. I did my best to make the Pro Matte work. It was actually one of the first foundations I ever bought and I thought I was using it wrong. It just did not work well on my skin. I then tried the Pro Glow and I even tried panning one of them and I just couldn't. I did not like the formula. No, none of the, none of the really shades really worked for me and I just couldn't understand the hype around those. There are some amazing foundations from the drugstore, but for me personally, the L'Oreal ones just don't work. And we did it! That's all of the questions in the I Heart Drugstore Makeup tag. Let me know down below what drugstore makeup products you love and if you have any other suggestions for answers for these. If you're watching this and if you want to do this tag, I tag you. Let me know on my Twitter or on my Instagram if you do do this tag. I would love to watch the video. And if you don't have a channel or an Instagram, just leave me a comment with your answers below. I would love to just talk more about affordable makeup and about like older makeup. I know it's a part of me too that loves new makeup and new makeup releases, but we can't forget about the affordable. We can't forget about the older makeup. So thank you so much for watching. Hope if you liked it, you'll give it a thumbs up and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.